Hello, my little tumblers. This is Lola here, and welcome back to the Rhythm, Dance, and Gymnastics YouTube channel. We are moving into the month of November, and we have a brand new class theme and stations. For the month of November, our class theme will be Fall on the Farm. This was an extra fun one to put together. We'll be learning all about what different types of animals live on a farm and things that we would see during the fall time. Think leaves changing, tractors harvesting our crops that we planted in the late spring, early summer. I am so excited to get warmed up with you. So come on, let's get warmed up. Wild and crazy like we did with our 
station explanations. So station number one this week is a continuation from our previous curriculum, panel mat hop over. Today I'm going to be showing you using just some workout equipment that I have at home because I know not everyone has mats. This is actually a great tool. This is just a little step up bench. So you're going to take your arms way up high in the sky, hands down onto the mat, and we're going to jump up and over three, two, one, jump. And this week we're focusing on bringing our arms high up in the sky. Again, this is just a prep for cartwheels so that we can get used to that lateral movement and build that stability in our arms and our core. Station number two this week is our walk-ups, handstand walk-ups. So in class, we actually have a bunch of them that is pushed up against the wall, but since I'm at home, I'm just gonna use my wall. So this station, I would encourage parents to spot just to make sure that our arms are not wobbly. So in class, we always talk about having zombie arms, right, because we just got off of Halloween. So we wanna make sure our arms are straight, 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 and that our head does not touch the floor. So we'll back up to the wall, hands all the way down, and we're gonna start at the bottom and just walk our feet all the way up, and we're going to count to three, one, two, three, and then instead of just jumping down, we're going to walk our feet all the way down the wall. Station number three this week is our tuck hold on the hang bar. Now I know we don't have hang bars, and even this ballet bar is a little bit too low for me to hang from, but if you have any workout equipment at home, parents, um, maybe pull-up bars, this would be a great opportunity for you to help spot your child in this. So I'll show you from the side. But this is the position that we're working on getting into. So their hands are up. So we're just going to pretend like we're gripping the bar. And we're going to take our legs from straight all the way in. Count to three. One, two, three. And relax. We do it two times in class four minutes. One, two, three. And down. It's considerably harder to hang from the actual bar. But even by completing that on the floor, it's going to make our time in class with that station a whole lot easier. Station number four this week are tuck jumps. So we're seeing a lot of that tuck position, a lot of abdominal strength during this circuit. So we'll practice our tuck jumps first before we try to move. So we're gonna reach high up in the sky, bring our knees all the way in, and land on two feet, ready? Reach up high, one, two, three, tuck. And it's okay if their tuck jumps are really low right now, they can even be right here just as long as we're starting to use that core muscles. So we do, we actually do five or six of these in station number four, but for energy purposes, we're only gonna do three. So we're gonna reach up and tuck, tuck, and tuck. Woo, good job, everyone. Now, I would encourage you to press pause on this video to set up your little mini circuit, and we are going to take a field trip to three of my classes to see how our friends did.
so proud of all of your hard work. I hope you have fun at home showing mom, dad, grandma, and grandpa all your new skills. And I will see you next week.